It's not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. You see what I'm thinking, see my analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. Somebody gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the reverse repo is under $400 billion again, okay? And when I say it's under $400 billion, um, I'm saying they're reporting it. They're reporting it as being under $400 billion. Again, they're reporting it at $390 billion. And this is just my opinion. I'm going to tell you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. But I don't believe these numbers are accurate. I believe the numbers are a lot worse than they're letting on. I believe that they are reporting inaccurate reverse repo numbers okay because the other day they had that 600 and something billion which in my opinion was an impossibility if you're looking at what's going on in the market okay i believe that was an impossibility so being that i think that they fudged the numbers about two weeks ago i believe they're fudging the numbers now the reverse repo is probably a whole lot less than $390 billion. But even if we want to accept this $390 billion, you have to remember it was at $2 trillion at one time. And now they're reporting $390. And I believe it's a lot less. Me personally, I believe it's a lot less. But this is just further evidence that the bank's liquidity is drying up. The bank's liquidity is almost gone and when it's gone there there's no money to be lending to the bad actors naked shorting amc naked shorting gme and other stocks and i know these guys are pushing for rate cuts because rate cuts would take some pressure off them but if you look at the market if you look at the inflation is there a real justification for rate cuts i don't think so do i think they're gonna be rate cuts yes i think there's gonna be rate cuts because they want to get one or two in before the elections, okay? They want to get the rate cut in before the elections. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. Do I think the economy justifies the rate cut? No, I do not. No, I do not. Do I think it's going to happen? Yes, I do. And the reason is to take the pressure off of the banks who had a reverse, a reverse repo of over $2 trillion. Now they're reporting $390 billion which means that their liquidity is almost gone. And that means, in my opinion, the liquidity of the bad actors, Nick and Short and AMC and GME is almost gone also. And when, when that liquidity is pushing on zero, when that reverse repo is being reported, pushing on zero, some of these bad actors are gonna be forced to close out their AMC and GME short positions. And then AMC and GME might start trading at their intrinsic value or even higher anyway please leave some comments tell me what you think do you think that the bank's liquidity slowly drying up is going to dry up the liquidity of the bad actors naked shorting amc gme and other stocks anyway have a great day god bless and i appreciate y'all on this journey with me